Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 42 of FTB Revelations. Hope you guys brought your towels today, because uh, we're going to be playing with an awesome astral building. That's my plan for today, is build a cool astral structure uh, that'll be fun to set up. Oh, nope, that's not good. Hold on. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Boop. I didn't realize that there was another connector up here I needed to block out. There you go. Alright, everybody back to life now. Hooray! That should be cool. Alright, so hey you, come with me, would you? Uh, I'm setting up another P2P system over here. Because I would like to have um, another... That seems fair. Uh, set up for interfaces. And I have kind of an idea of how I'm going to do this, but we're going to see if it works out. Uh, you, 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 you. I want to have extra interface connections to uh, this guy. So what I'm going to do is, because I'm I've run out of pulverizer slots, and short of just making more and more pulverizers, which I could do, um, I figured I'd try a phantom face and and go with this approach. So what I'm going to have is a phantom connector uh, with a phantom face. So you're going to map up, like right about here. Right, and then we can have an interface here that's going to connect this dude to this dude. Sweet, and that should be fun. Uh, but before I actually connect that up, we need this to be the P2P connector, right? So what I'm this is probably going to be a line of machines back here at some point. So let's get you, and let's get our memory card to restore this guy's configuration, which should have him linked up. And that should be neat, right? So now he's using one channel, and that's feeding back into here, which will be in total using 12 channels. Nice, okay, cool. So that's plenty. I like that plan. Yeah, looking sharp. All right. And then I should be able to put recipes in here. So what recipe do I want to put in here? I'm glad you asked. It's uh, dense construction chunks. I'm working on making construction paste uh, somewhat automated. Because here's where I'm at. I've chosen a structure that I like. Uh, I'll give you guys the, the paste spin right now before I forget. Because you know I tend to do that. So there's the paste spin uh, for the structure. I like. It's a pretty large astral temple area setup. It looks pretty cool though. Uh, it's uh, submitted by a Twitter uh, handle, TJ Snipes submitted this one, and it's a pretty, it's a pretty nifty looking natural building. Let me, uh, let me show it to you here real quick. Let's uh, just anchor it right about here so you can see. So this is a rough idea of what the thing looks like. Pretty cool, right? It's large though. It's really big, right? Um, but it looks like there's like an undergroundish area, um, which is neat. It doesn't have a floor down here, though, which is interesting. But it has, like, an underground area, so that's cool. Uh, and then it, it climbs up to here, and it's got, like, an upper platform. And I'm thinking this might be where the astral crafting area would be. I mean, it's big. It's bigger probably than I need, but it's cool looking. I really like it. Yeah, you know, it's almost too big, but it's also really cool looking. So I think I might just, like, go with it, all right? So let's, let's figure out exactly where I want this thing to sit. Uh, so I'm thinking that's negative Z, right? So I want to shift him a little bit away and maybe a little bit further down. How does that feel? Maybe a little bit closer to me so that it kind of lines up with the Thongcrafty stuffs. The, the stairs might be in the way, but we'll figure that out, right? Um, oops. How's that feel? Does that feel pretty cool? Yeah, I like that. I like that a little bit. So like that rests right about there. I might want it up one more level because I'm gonna I'm gonna flatten this terrain so that it's the same Y level as the Thomcrafty building. Um, it looks like it could come a little bit. Does that look a little bit more accurate? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. How about the back there? Eh, it's not super centered. It really should come 
about there, probably. See, the problem is now it's kind of impeding upon my existing farm structure. Which I could move. I could totally move that farm if I needed to. Man, that is a big building, isn't it, though? I mean, that is huge. Maybe I'll just move it back some. I think that would be fine. Right? I think that's that's fine. I think that's cool. Right? It kind of lines up. Does it line up right about there? Maybe we'll bring it forward one more. Yeah, I like that. It'll kind of line up with this line. Yeah, that looks good, I think. Okay. So we'll have, like, this entry stairway here. I, I do kind of feel like I should move my farms just because. Just haven't decided where exactly they would be moved to, and that requires a lot of rewiring and stuff. But I think, okay, I think this is good. We just have a lot of land to fill in. Real lot of land to fill in. Wow, that is a big building. I'm also trying to think of, like, how am I going to fill this, right? Because I clearly have the uh, the astral structure at the top is where we're going to build, right, like, our, our crafting setup for astral. But, like, what am I going to do with all this space down here? Uh, and, and the basement, for that matter, right? Like, what am I going to do with the basement? Like, I might, I might like, omit the basement because it might be too much. So I'll tell you what. It's really convenient having this uh, dirt farm or this this automated dirt maker thingy. Just you know, infinite dirt basically. I just keep snagging more out of my thingy and uh, dirt for days. So I'm just terraforming a little bit back in a minute when it's done and looks halfway decent. I love it, guys. Every time I open up my terminal here, I have 2048 dirt. Like it's awesome. It is really awesome. I'm sure at some point soon I'm going to run into a, like, uh, we're going to run out of redstone and it's going to be a little while. But, like, for now, it's pretty awesome just watching it constantly having enough dirt. Look, 2048 dirt. <laughs> it's like every time I open it, it's like, boom, there's 2048 dirt. It's doing exactly what I set it up to do. It's awesome. Now, I am, I am going a little bit fast, so I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, yeah, no, Lexi, we're only at 1,500 now. So, I mean, we have a little bit more to go, but we're getting there. We're getting there. It's, uh, it's, it's coming along nicely. Very nicely. Um, well, actually, yeah, you could probably do this. That seems pretty reasonable, right? Uh, I'm just kind of, like, flattening out the terrain right now. That's it. Oh, almost 2048 dirt. Almost. I don't even know if it's worth putting in here, to be fair, but, yeah, you know. Now, what happened to you, buddy? Why you... That seems a little better, right? Oh, look, 2048 dirt. I love it. It's so cool. It's so cool to see, like, every time. 2048 dirt. Oh, look, 2048 dirt. I'm just restocking my uh, dank null here with a decent amount, a decent amount of dirt. Just so I have it for building purposes, you know, as time goes by. But aside from that, I think we're in pretty good shape. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, it looks like a, a pretty decent flat terrain here. Now, like, clearly, like, the sheer cliff face thing here doesn't look great. But, I mean, eh, it's all right. So how does this structure look now? Uh, he's actually still overhanging the water a little bit, which I'm trying to avoid. Trying to avoid. He's he's pretty well structurally sounded there. And if I move him up one, we'll see that, yeah, we are hitting the bottom, so that's cool. Uh, um, So a little bit more out, like probably about as far as these guys. So back in a sec. Okay, I'm liking, thinking this is probably good. We might need a little bit more dirt coming in here. Boop, 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 boop. Beautiful. I like it. Okay, cool. Yeah, it looks good. All right, now how does this look for the... Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. All right, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Very terraformished. Okay, now we have to worry about all the marble and stuff that we're going to need. All right, so in theory, I should be able to craft construction paste. Let's get like 3,000 of that stuff. How much does the tier 2 paste container hold? I don't even remember. 
you know? I made the mod, I don't remember. I don't remember details like that sometimes. You know, it's uh, it's tricky. Can I make a thousand with my current CPUs? Oh, really? I can't even, oh, it's 5,000 bytes to make a thousand. Maybe I should get like a 16K storage uh, CPU or even a 64. That might be a smart move, right? Yeah, let's do that. Let's teach you how to make 64K storage disks. Uh, like ultimately I want you to know how to make this, right? And how are we for patterns? Still doing good. 40 more, please. And while you're cooking, uh, you know how to make crafting units? You do. Okay, good. So I need you to know how to make this and this, because you already know how to make 4Ks, right? That should be a smart thing for me to set up. Boop, boop, and boop. Cool. Give me a couple of 64K. How about four of them? Oh, we're low on silicon again. Is this about the time where I should say it's silicon crafting time? I feel like it is. So let's do a manufactory. I think that's the, the smart approach to it, right? Uh, we just need a piston, which I think you know how to make. Because manufactories are one-to-one -one sand to silicon, right? So what I'm going to set up in the back there, is, and, and we're going to want a drawer for silicon, because it's about time that we set this up properly, right? Yeah. Uh, I've got a key back here that I could toss into my offhand so that you can do this, silicon. Thank you. Put you away. Okay, so uh, you've got sand going on, right, buddy? So what we want to have, because we're extracting from blue on this guy, right? So ultimately what we want is a manufactory. Uh, we're going to want a filter. I think just a regular basic item filter will do with sand. Right, so on the east, the manufactory will be insert blue filter sand insert. Cool, and then you should start getting sand right away. Is that about it in theory? Yay, sand, cool. All right, and then uh, conduiting you, buddy. Oh no. Hmm. Hey, wrong thing. East. Blue. There you go. Just making sure you're behaving still. There you go, good. Alright, uh, I guess you're gonna wanna come across, well, I could probably do that. And then this, yeah, that'll work. That's a little bit better, right? So now you're manufacturing, right? Nuclear craft, do we have a uh, 10 of you and 10 of you that we could request just to kind of speed this up a little bit? And then you're just gonna extract on green, always active, right? And that's it, that's that's 100% all the effort required to automate the uh, production of silicon for us. And I think that's a good move for me right now because I keep saying I should do this and I keep putting it off so I think it's uh it's about time that it gets done, right? So this guy shouldn't be too much longer. Give me my energy upgrades. Auto craftable. Press Alt. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can. Oh, that's different. Neat. Okay. Uh, so you and you. How fast are you gonna make silicon for me now? That's pretty good. And again, like all the other machines back here, uh, we're not voiding the excess silicon, right? So what we'll find is uh, I want to give it a, a little jump start just because I need a bunch right now-ish, right? But what we'll find is it'll do like the other machines where once we hit 2048, the manufactory here will back stuff itself uh, and, and be clogged. And I think that works pretty well, right? I've also found that you may not be producing enough. Look at my uh, empowered oil setup. That's not good. That's definitely not good. Now, to be fair, I did just run my quarry for a really long time. So like we drained a lot of energy, but like... I think we're actually hurting on power right now because we don't have enough canola oil going on. So I haven't figured out the solution to this yet. Um, I did speed this up. This was crafting kind of slowly, but I sped that up. It seems like when it was feeding into the phantom face, it wasn't... Oh, I see what's going on. Oh, I see what's going on. Actually, yeah, no, that's fine, as a matter of fact. This was, this was working okay. I was limiting it. That's what I was doing. Right. 
Yeah, so you've got your 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 Yeah, that's why it was slow. Cause I have a I have a keep in stock thing on this guy, don't I? Yeah, one one empowered canola. So let's make you like five empowered canola just to be a little bit more back stuffy. Um but yeah, my problem is not the empowered canola and how fast we're making it, or the crystallized canola. You know what it is? It's this stuff. This is slow. I think we could do something about that, right? Yeah, if we had more conduits. Let's go Ender I.O. Pressurized fluid conduits and item conduits. We're okay on them. I should teach you how to make this stuff. For now, just get me four of those real quick. And a hundred more of that. Fair. And we're smelting. One more. There you go. Perfect. All right. So we're going to want a couple more canola presses. Right. Uh, that's going to require some more of these. I should really be automating this at this point. It's kind of ridiculous that I haven't yet. So much to automate, so little time, I'll tell you. There you go. I think we need to take a break from building this nifty building to speed up our canola production. I think four more of those. And uh, fermenters. Fermenting barrels. Yeah, it seems like a good time. Get me... I don't know, 12-ish of them. There you go. Really? Really with the oak wood? I just chopped down a bunch too. Another to-do list, tree farm. Kind of embarrassing that I haven't said, it's episode 40 and we don't have a tree farm, right? A little embarrassed by that. Wow, that was, a, that was a big, that was a big amount of wood chopped down there by that thing. Not that big though. I need to find more oak wood. Should really do something a little bit smarter. At this point, I'm just kind of like, hey, I'm having fun not having a tree farm. What should we do for a tree farm? Something different, right? We've done uh, we've done astral tree farms before, right? We've done. Ender.io tree farms about a billion times. I had to come up with a fun way to make lots of uh, lots of wood. Something different, right? Like we've done a immersive engineering tree farms about a billion times, right? So I'm gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do by way of tree farm. Well, that's not exactly what I meant to make, but eh, it's all right. We got a lot of fermenting barrels, I guess. And man, did I just burn all my wood. Yeah, I did. All right, let me chop down a few more trees and then we'll be right back. All right, so what if we expanded this a little bit such that it was more like this? How do we feel about this setup, right? We could do one more of those canola presses, I think. And that would be cool. I like that idea. That looks pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay. So then we just want to match. All the things here, right? Um, so like, what we're going to do is we're going to put power and insert on green for this guy. Right? Uh, we're going to want more enhanced energy conduits, which these I did teach smart enough. Smart enough to have actually taught that. Let's make sure we know what we're doing here, right? 
So you are insert on green. And you're also insert on green. Technically, you're not needed. OK. And then you're also insert on green with power, right? So now these guys should be getting canola pressed seeds. Cool. And then the fermenting barrels have a bit of work ahead of them, but that's OK. We'll figure them out in a minute. Yeah, so your, your, your canola pressing is going pretty quick. But that's all right. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. I think he'll be fine. We just need to extract from those barrels now with these guys, right? So you're coming out of the barrel there. So I need you to also come out of this barrel. And you're just extract always active, right? Actually, you should be not doing anything. Yeah, that's going to be tricky, actually. Let's do this. If we remove the power here. Actually, let's do this. We'll put the power back on. Let's turn off insert for a sec so we can take this out. We can put the power back, right? And then we can put this on and connect this guy and this guy. And then on you, you're going to be doing nothing. And then on you, the insert goes back so that you don't ever touch that in terms of fluid. Cool. All right. Good deal. All right. And then you can also connect to that. And that. Okay, so you're going to be extract, you're going to be extract, and you're going to be extract. And that looks good to me, right? Yeah, that looks pretty good. You should also be extract. Looks like they uh, automatically jump, so I don't have to set the always active thing on. Right, okay, cool. So you need power, you need power. Okay, and then you need... Insert on green, and you need insert on green. And that looks pretty cool. I think so. We might need a few more uh, fermenting barrels, though, because I feel like we're going to overwhelm our canola production stuff. But aside from that, I think we're pretty good. Technically, like, where the other fermenting barrels should go is here and here. Uh, and then here and here, right? So you should get extract only. Do you not have a fluid pipe there? You don't. OK, cool. Uh, we're going to have to connect that. But that's going to do that annoying thing again. So let's make you no longer insert. You take this out for a sec so I can stick this dude here and say that you don't connect in any way. And now you're happy, right? Oh, no, wrong thing. You don't connect in any way. And that looks good to me. Perfect. And then make you connect. All right, cool, cool, cool. And then you're, this guy can go back to inserting, and that's good. And then probably going to have to do something similar here, right? So you will not insert. We will remove the canola seed thingies. We'll put this here. You will no longer insert. You're also not inserting as well, right? Good. And then you can connect here and connect up and connect up. So that is a mishmash of dire wire. Let me tell you that. Uh, and then you will be not inserting or extracting at all, but you will insert here. Cool. So if we pay a little bit of attention, we should see that we now have a hefty amount of this stuff working. 
Uh, you're not connected back here, and I gather that you're probably not either. Okay. So the last steps here will be similar to the last two. So you and you. Let's remove the insert. Take the canola out. Let's remove the insert. Take the canola out. You will do nothing. You will be extract only. And you are now connected to the network of things, I hope. I think that's right. You should be draining. Cool. And how about you, buddy? You need to extract. Where is all your canola going? Did we like back stuff stuff here or what's going on? Why are you not autom- uh, you're doing okay. You're not extracting either, buddy. There you are. It's kind of hard to follow here, but I think that helps. I think that helps. Boy, is that is that a bundle of dire wire or what? Holy cow. So you've got a bunch of refined canola now backstuffed, which is actually fine by me. You're doing a great job, buddy. All right, now we're cooking. So I think this is the last one that hasn't been connected up. Everybody else is doing their job. Looking good, right? All right, not too shabby. Now you still have a lot of oil to process. Or no, this one. Let's help clear out this stuff. I want this to be empty so I can connect up the last dude. And then I think we'll be in good shape. Perfect, I want you empty so that I can connect up this fluid duct, which will be set to do nothing. Connected to this fluid duct, which is extract only, which connects up to these dudes. And then this guy can insert his canola again. Good. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Now everybody's draining. So that's a big amount of canola production, I would say. Did I not reinsert you? Okay, so everybody's behaving now. You guys are all producing. A big bundle of dire wire. But I mean, let's be honest, you guys are used to that by now, right? You don't look like you, you might not be extracting fluids or we just don't have anywhere for you to go. Uh, yeah, you're the opposite of what you should be. That's better. Okay, I think I got this pretty good. All right, and you're producing fast enough? I think I might need you. to have more than four. How about 16, keep in stock. Why do I feel like you're extracting and going somewhere? You're not, but I feel like you're just moving too fast. There's no way it's going that quick, right? Like it's not dropping seeds that quickly, is it? Maybe it is, I don't know. Doesn't seem to be. Why are these seeds disappearing so quickly? Hmm. The only 
only thing it could be extracting there, but it looks okay. I don't know. Why does it feel like they're extracting so fast? Like it's not it's not dropping that quickly, right? It can't be. It can't be. Current refined canola. All right, I'll play with it. Actually, I think my ranged collector is picking them up. Was that happening before? I think it is actually. That's what's happening. The ranged collector is picking them up and it's slowing it down a little bit. I need to move that out of range a little bit. All right, I think that's better. I just moved him back a little bit and I think he's behaving a little bit better now. So that's cool. So are you guys actually doing a good job now? I think you are actually. I'm really pleased with that setup. The problem is, is that this isn't fast enough now. That's my uh, my bottleneck. But hey, we have more. We are back stuffing Empowered Oil. That's nice. So we're actually producing more Empowered Oil than we need at the moment. So that's good. We've sped up the Empowered Oil production line. That's cool. We just have to figure out how to make this silly thing a little bit faster, huh? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> we'll have to see. We'll have to see if I come up with something. Just make him a little bit faster. But overall, we're in pretty good shape now. I would say. I would say we're in good shape. Yeah, that looks good to me. All right, back in a sec. Yeah, so we definitely have a net gain on Empowered Oil now. We're up to 40 buckets, which is awesome. Canola? Hurting a little bit. We're actually kind of low on canola, which is funny. Um, let's go outside and see what's going on. Remember how, like, ridiculous... Now, to be fair, it's nighttime, so I'm wondering what will happen during the day. Because remember, that, uh, that glass only works... During the daytime, I believe. So let's see what happens during the day. I'm going to keep an eye on my canola reserves. They do seem like they have a net loss going on now. Not terrible, but a net loss nonetheless. Now, I think... Did I teach you how to make greenhouse glass? I think it stacks, doesn't it? Does greenhouse glass stack? I think it will, to be honest with you. We'll see. There's other things we could probably do. Can you tick accelerate it? I forget. I don't think so. I think we determined you can't, right? I don't think tick accelerating does anything. Now, to be fair, it shouldn't be too much of a problem because what's going to happen is it looks like we're doing okay during the daytime here. We are actually doing all right for canola. Um, so what I'm going to say is going to happen is we're going to backstuff that tank pretty soon. And then we're going to have a net gain on canola, and then we'll be fine. So I'm thinking we're all right for now. All right, so we kind of got away from what I planned to do this episode, which was the astral structure, but I needed to fix my canola system. So uh, hopefully that was cool to see. And uh, what we'll do is we'll come back next time. Uh, let me fix my walls here because things are just becoming messy, aren't they? I'm trying really hard to keep this like area looking good, right? I'm trying to, trying to do a good job. Not necessarily succeeding, but I'm trying, which is nice, right? I would, I would, I would hope that that's appreciated. So yeah, we'll come back next time. How are we on canola over here? Yeah, 75 buckets now. Now we're now we're doing great. And uh, what we'll do is um, get back to making the astral building. I will uh, try and get a little bit more marble between now and then because we have about almost 4,000 marble. And for this structure, we're going to need roughly 6,000 marble, if you look at the math, right? Roughly 6,000 marble. So um, not a big deal. We should be able to pull that off. Um, running my quarry gets me marble, uh, as does a few other things. Like I might, I might run my quarry, and I'll probably supplement with uh, construction paste. You know, hint, hint, I just taught it how to make construction paste. Also, are my 64K dudes done yet? I should be able to make them now that I've got... Uh, oh, okay, cool. Can you make two at a time? You can. 
So I'll have two at a time going, two sets of two, and that would be cool. How am I on silicon? Did we max it out already? No, we're at a thousand though. So that's pretty cool. I'll take that. All right, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.